Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and it's time to do it. Let's take a look at Froyo, Android 2.2. This will be a very brief walkthrough and we're going to cover a lot of stuff, so hang on. You got the same number of home screens, same old five, right? Nothing new there. We've got some new widgets there by default. Same cards, if you use those to hop back and forth between them. You will notice three new buttons, well, two new buttons down at the bottom. They're pretty obvious. The phone goes to the phone dialer. The launcher remains the same, same 3D effects. Cool. Right. And then the third one goes to the browser, just like you thought it would. So nice to have. That'll save you some icon space. I like that. Um, when you hold down the home button, you can now go to your eight most recent apps instead of six. Or was it four? Regardless, eight is more. All right. You also have a new search widget up there and a cool little helpful hints widget. You can flip back and forth. I'm pretty sure we'll all kill those off. Let's take a look at the search real quick. This is new. Show personalized search history for me. Uh, not right now, but thanks. And you can also drill down your searches a little bit. You can search all of Google or the web or apps or contacts. So we're going to search through the app. Say I want to search for Google Earth. Type in ear and it searches the apps for whatever it can find. And there you go. Same thing for contacts, right? Let's say I wanted to find Dieter. D-I- and there's Dieter Bone. Bingo. And no, you can't have Dieter's phone number. Sorry, people. Get over it. All right, what else do you want to see? Let us dive into a couple of the apps because we have some new stuff here, and that is good. Um, we will start with the camera. Here's kind of a cool one. You see the uh, settings have been moved out to the front here, right? And I'll cover the lens up to give us a little better contrast. So focus mode. Uh, store location on and off. Come on. No, oh, I think it's freaking out because I'm. Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like it when you hold your hand over it when you want to uh, balance the whiteness. Uh, flash mode and then zoom. Cool. Very nice. Now let's take a look at. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar. Mostly the same, right? There's something I want to show you. Still very colorful. I like that cool but here's the deal i actually sync two google accounts with my phone my personal and my uh smartphone experts my android central account right and so that means calendars and it actually gives you an extra option now to sync the calendar that i don't believe was there before so here's what has happens uh by default you will be seeing everything right and i don't want to sync my WM experts and smartphone experts calendar with my personal calendar to see what it does it doubles everything right that's no good so to turn that off, you just go back into more calendars and turn them off from the account you don't actually want to see them in, and then they won't double up anymore. It's a small thing, but it was a little annoying. So you see, I still see them there under my smartphone experts account, and now they're unchecked under my Gmail account. So simple, but it was a little disconcerting at first, right? Okay, now let's go take a look at how about the car dock. This has been revamped and I like it a lot. You know, have a grid layout instead of the diagonal thing we had before. It was a little tough on the eyes when you were driving. I wasn't crazy about it. Looks like there's room for three more things there, but it's empty so far. You now have brightness settings. This is very good. I was hoping for this before. So you can set it to be brighter if, uh, during the day, darker at night, or automatic, and that's cool. You got some other basic little settings there. Now, remember, if you hit home and you're in car mode, it just takes you back to the car dock, so you'll actually have to exit out of that. Now, let us take a look at, how about Gmail? Largely, this looks the same, right? There's inside a message. There's your inbox. But let's go back to the message. You see down there at the bottom? The buttons are a little different. You have archive, delete, forward, and back. And I love the forward and back, although I would much rather like to swipe between messages. Hopefully, we'll see that one day. I'm sure somebody has a patent on it somewhere, right? So there you go. Let's take a look at the labels. Nice and colorful. Cool. Very nice little tweak. All right, so we'll back out of that. Now let's go see how about... Hmm, what do we want to look at? How about, let's just dive into the settings, huh? We'll start with applications. Now you remember, you're going to be able to move apps to the SD card when your phone starts filling up. I could have sworn you were supposed to have the option all the time to be able to do this, but it's grayed out right now. 
but it's there, it's built in, and it's going to be really nice to have for those of you who just love to load up your phone. Again, it's under the applications, it's not under SD card and settings, so that's good to know. Uh, here's a cool one Jerry turned me on to, the voice recognizer, is what they call it. This, you, know, you talk to your phone and it uh, types out whatever you want, and before it would block offensive words, and we can turn that off now. It's also a safe search, I don't like having my voice. Uh, yeah, so we'll turn that off. So there we go. Let's see what else we have. Privacy, that all looks about the same. Location, security, select device administrators. Interesting. I assume that's part of the new exchange stuff they've built in. And set password for credential storage. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. Instead, let's see, display. Cool. Oh, speaking of the display, here's another uh, cool one Jerry turned me on to. Yeah, automatic brightness. That's always fun. So, here's what Jerry mentioned. Um, it's not actually on there by default anymore, right? But you have this power control widget. We've all seen that. And now there's an automatic brightness setting. So, you can turn it all the way to lowest, medium, high, or back to automatic. And I like that a lot. That is very good. Okay, let's see what else we want to play with. Oh, here's a biggie, right? Let's go back into the settings and wireless and networks. Tethering and portable hotspot. Again, carriers will probably strip this out and or charge you an arm and a leg to use it, but it's there. There's USB tethering. It's not lit up right now because we're not connected to a computer, but when you're not connected, you can use it as a portable Wi-Fi hotspot. So that's what we'll do. It takes it a second to turn on, but there we go. Tethering or hotspot active. Now we can set it up. Uh, there's the on off button again, weird, but whatever. Uh, you can give it a custom SSID name and you can turn security to open or WPA2. So cool. Very, very handy. And that'll turn through your battery, of course, but that's just the way it is, right? And that's mostly it, I think. It's a pretty quick walk through uh, Froyo and Android 2.2. All right, we'll have more for you guys. See ya.